So apparently stupid pays nowadays, so in my opinion I think these reaction channels are quite stupid. So here we go. Let's let's do it. This internet generation is fucked. I think anybody with a brain understands that, but I don't think most people understand exactly how fucked it is because they live in this digital false reality. They're completely inside the matrix, forgetting that there's a real world out here. The world I grew up in, I was very respectful to everybody I ever spoke to. And the reason I was respectful is because I didn't want to fight. Not because I was scared I would lose. Certainly there'd be some fights harder than others, but also I just didn't want to have to fight all the time. It's exactly my luck. I'm the kind of guy who gets in an argument with some guy, we end up having to have a fight, I hit him, and he dies. That's how he'd get me back. Not because he can't beat me, of course, nobody can beat me. But he'd get me back by dying. It's like, bro, I only hit you once, wake up. No, he's dead. Murder charge. Fucking hell. All because we argued over some dumb shit. So I try my best not to fight anybody, because I understand how easy it is to kill someone. It is not hard to catch someone with a good shot and then die. It really isn't. And most people cannot fight at all. So I try my very best to go through life peacefully. I don't want to catch a murder charge. I don't want to have to fight all the time, which is why when I talk to people, I try to be respectful. I understand that if you disrespect people in the real world, there's a chance it becomes violent. But these kids on the internet don't understand that at all. Every time I dip my toe into the cesspit, which is the generation below mine, I realize they're a bunch of disrespectful, arrogant idiots Constantly Absolutely. running their mouths on the internet. And none of them have Absolutely. any genuine real world experience of anything. Clowns. Yeah. yeah. I recently did a stream with Aiden Ross. Dude, you not know who the man is. is. My favorite tell yourself. Fuck you. Pudgy Aiden. And he brought on some kid who I had never heard of. Like, I don't know who these people are. I'm the most famous man on the internet. And people often say, hey, Tate, you know, what do you think of this streamer? You think I watch streamers? You think I watch? I don't watch any of the people who make hit pieces on me. I have no idea who these conservatives having a breakdown are. I have no idea who these liberals having a breakdown are. I have no idea who's on Twitch. I, I don't know these people and I couldn't give less of a fuck. Recently just did a Candace interview. She's like, Liz Wheeler, Liz Wheeler. Who? Who? Now we're talking about Neon. Who? Who? Who are these people? So I did this thing, I'm on with Pudgy Aid, and Neon comes on. He starts running his mouth at me. Hey, fuck you, bitch. Hey, fuck you, dude. Dude is like 75 pounds dripping wet. I could pick him up by his neck with one hand. He knows it. I know it. But it's the internet. So he's just running his mouth. But they won't cut, bro, they won't cut yours off. They can't mess with you. You got a SpongeBob t-shirt on and an inhaler. They're scared of you, G. Don't worry about that. You just turn up and you tell him who's boss. You tell him. That's right. You tell him. You say you're a streamer and you play video games all day. You let him know who the man is. You let him know who the man is. You want a favor? Tell yourself. You, you dumb bitch. Fire and house arrest, you pussy. You fucking loser. You and your dirty ass fat brother. Fuck him too, dumb bitch. Look at you just sitting there, you bald refugee. Fuck you. All right. Hold on. I don't know why you're laughing. You all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Everyone, calm it down a notch. Listen. I'm loose. calm. I'm just saying that no, he no, has nothing to worry about. Bro. I'm trying to give you self-esteem, bro. I'm saying you have nothing to worry about. You're a tough guy. Go over there and tell I'll him tell who you are. I got a better deal. On my life, me and Neon versus you in the ring, I swear to God, me and him are knocking you the fuck out. We will fucking kill you, bro. Oh, my God. This is the biggest waste of my time. And I grew up in a world where you don't disrespect people you couldn't fight. Even on the internet, I wouldn't do it because I'd feel bad in my heart. I wouldn't disrespect a man on the internet, unless I was prepared to see him in real life and beat the shit out of him. If I disrespect you on the internet, if I see you, it's on site. Fuck you. Old fashioned. Then, it's been about a week has passed, the video is now old fashioned. Out of him. If I disrespect you on the internet, if I see you, it's on site. Fuck you. Old fashioned. Him okay. getting Sorry. bullied. 
One in here. That's nothing to do with me. I guess he just runs his mouth too much to too many people. Ooh, hey, look whose shoes we got. Long. Got his ass lacking. Come on, bro. Got his ass lacking. Hey, what size y'all want? Let me see what we did with his shirt. Look at his shirt. Ripped all type of stuff, boy. You know not to come around here talking like that. Yeah. Hey, flick me up, flick me up. Hey, oh, we on his ass. Come on, bro. Take his glasses off. How much they gonna sell? Wow. Come on, bro. YouTube, YouTube money. We taking all of that. Hey, and we keeping your phone, boy. We taking the video right on your phone. You a bitch, right? I'm not playing with you. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Yeah, you a fucking bitch. Come on, bro. So he's gone from the digital world running his mouth like a tough guy to the real world. And you can see the video of what happens when he encounters the realities of the masculine essence outside of the matrix. Because the reality of the masculine experience is you need to be capable of violence. Yeah. You need to be capable of violence, otherwise people are going to pick on you. It Absolutely. has to be mutually assured destruction. They have to look at you and go, you know what? I might lose. Yeah. It's not worth the risk. Or exactly. three of us is one of him, but one of us is going to lose. And I don't want to be that guy. Right. They have to have that degree of fear. Otherwise, you can get picked on and bullied. Especially if you've got a big fucking mouth. Like Neon. I want this to be a lesson to all the internet kids. There's another guy I, I did a stream with. In fact, it's that it's Aiden, Pudgy Aiden, who introduces me to all of these people. I don't know who any of these people are. I did one with XQC ages ago, and he was like, I <laughs> run his mouth as well. If you can't fight, which none of you can, learn to be respectful to people. Because karma is real, what goes around comes around. And God is not going to allow you to sit and run your mouth and disrespect people forever until someone checks you. That's how the world works. You can call it karma. You can call it God. You can call it live by the sword, die by the sword. There's a whole bunch of different sayings which basically mean the same thing. You need to be able to practice what you preach. You can't have a bark without a bite. So you have two choices. You either go and develop a bite and you get to have a bark like me or shut up. Now, what I saw, what happened to Neon, saw on the internet, does not surprise me at all. Does he deserve it? Probably. But it still made me a bit sad to see because I don't like bullying. I don't like bullying at all. And I know that someone like him is going to be genuinely traumatically affected by it. And he's going to be bullied for it, not just because of what happened, but they're not, never going to let him forget it ever. And I feel bad for him. So I'm actually extending an olive branch to Neon. If you want to talk about it, if you want to fly here, if you want to learn to train, if you want me to tell you how to deal with this, if you want me to tell you the best way you can bounce back from this and become the best version of yourself, talk to you will help you. The man who you called names, the man who you called a bitch and told me you fucked me up and all this garbage, I will actually help you feel better about the situation because I know that you're probably very afraid right now. And I know uh. that also everyone's mocking you on the internet and you probably don't feel very good about yourself. And the last thing you need to be doing is something stupid. And most men, that's beautiful. Men with weak bodies are a lot weaker mentally than you would believe. Not mm. Everybody's like me and Tristan. Not everybody can go to a dungeon solitary and sit there. <laughs> the small problems in life. Right. So I'm extending an olive branch to this guy. I don't like bullying. I don't like what they've done to me. But as a professional, I can analyze the situation and understand very much why it happened. And I can understand very much that he brought it upon himself. But being the gracious man that I am, I'm still going to offer him an olive branch and try my very best to make him feel better about it all. There are two kinds of people in the world. People who learn from their, from their own mistakes, which means they have to make a bunch of mistakes in their lives and then try and recover from them. And people who learn from other people's mistakes. They're the smarter ones. People who look at a situation and go, you know what? Isn't it ironic that this neon ran his mouth about being a tough guy to talk cheap. And a week later, this happened. Isn't that ironic? There's people who are smart enough to sit there and go, God doesn't like it when you talk shit and lie. And learn from other people's mistakes so they don't have to ever go through the same scenario. For everyone at home, I hope you're the second. I hope you're the latter of the two choices because if you're the first, you're going to end up like him. And I also hope everybody at home understands that the internet is great but the world is real and people do exist and you need to be very, very careful who you disrespect. Well.
a good video. Great message. Allahu Akbar.